This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Stacy's in Louisiana. Hi, Stacy. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, thank you. Sure. What's up? I have a whole life policy that has been paid off. It's a $15,000 policy that my dad took out for me. Mm-hmm. And now the benefit amount is $47,399. Mm-hmm. So my question is, um, and I called them, I can keep the death benefit at 15000 and they're telling me I can move a portion of it to an IRA, Roth, mm-hmm. and make 4.5% on it. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know if I should just leave it in there and leave it as a death benefit or just leave the death benefit at 15000 and then use that other. What was the 47000 That is the benef- death benefit paid out now. The cash value. The ca- yeah. No, the cash value is $25,000. If oh, I was okay. to so if you close the policy, value, if you close the policy up, you get $25,000. Correct. Okay. Well, l- let me kind of reset the table for you before I tell you what to do, okay? okay? Because right. you, you're using the phrasing that the whole life agents teach you, okay? That's why I'm calling you. Yeah. So <laughs> as long as you're alive, there is a probability of your death. Agreed? Agreed. As long as there is a probability of your death, there is a cost to life insurance. For them to cover you, it costs them something because each year there's a chance you will die. And and you can break that down by year. If you're an insurance company, that's what you would do. It's called an actuarial table, okay? And so for, for the re- fact that as long as you're alive, there's, it costs them, there is never a time that you have paid off a policy. What has happened is, is you have prepaid a policy. They charged you such high premiums and your dad such high premiums in the early days that they never aren't going to charge you again. Okay. That's thing number one. Okay. How old are you? I am 56. Now I'll tell you this, Dave. I know we paid like $69 a month yep. for Forever. 20 years. So it, well, no, just for 20 years, it's yeah. paid off. Yeah. So okay. He paid. And for $69 a month, you could have had a million and a half dollars in insurance. Well, exactly, but yeah. this was yeah. 20 years ago. So that's what I, no, it was the same cost. It was the same cost back then. So, but the point is, is that you overpaid and prepaid, and so they finally quit charging you because they got enough of your money. No, one, one, number one thing. Number two thing: the, a fifteen thousand dollar policy. The interest on twenty five thousand dollars would buy a fifteen thousand dollar policy, right? Okay. I mean, if you took the twenty five thousand out and put it in a savings account the interest would buy you a $15,000 policy. So you're paying for your policy in lost interest because this thing's not earning anything. That's the other problem with it. The third thing is if you die, um, you said the death benefit is now 47. So this must be a mutual company. They've been doing add-ons. Um, it's nice at Columbus. Yeah, they've been doing that. add-ons. Okay, yeah. So th- you've been buying more insurance as you went along. Uh, and, and so you've got a higher death benefit than 15000 Now you have a death benefit of 47000 because you've been using some of your dividends to buy additional insurance. Paid up additions are called. Okay. And uh, that that's what's happened. And so all of this to say, um, sadly, this whole endeavor has not been a good move. Keeping it is not going to be a good move. If it were me, I would just cash it out and take the 25000 and invest it. Period. Okay, so that that's they were kind of telling me I could invest it through them. No, you can't. This IRA, you can't. Okay, you cannot roll over a whole life cash value of twenty five thousand into an IRA. You can put eight thousand dollars into an IRA if you have an earned income of that. But whole life life insurance is not in a retirement program. It cannot be rolled to an IRA. That is not true. Okay. Now they can't. They could inv- They could take some of your money up to eight thousand dollars and invest it into an IRA, and paying you four and a half percent would be screwing you again, because a good mutual fund oh. should pay ten to twelve percent, and a good Roth IRA, which is where you need to be with this twenty five thousand. So what? Okay. You know, th- their whole life agents. It's what they do. 
uh, they believe in it or they don't believe in it and they know they're ripping people off, but either way, they're ripping people off. And so what you need to do is go to a, a good smart investor pro and cancel this policy and take the 25,000 and put it in good mutual funds. Uh, you can put 8,000 in if you're married, you can put 16,000 in cause of your spouse. And then the next year you could put another 10,000 in. So over two calendar years, you can get it moved into a Roth IRA, but you could do that with or without doing this. You can put that much money into a Roth IRA anyway. That's yeah. all this is. My my head is spinning on this a little bit because okay. I just did a little bit of just my jade math. I'm like, she said she's paid $69 for 20 years for 20 years to get a $15,000 death benefit. Mm -hmm. If you just that that math on that, it's $16,560. So she paid more money mm -hmm. to get less of a death benefit. Mm -hmm. Yep. And. uh We'll just add, let's just go ahead because we you know, we just got to explain it to folks. So there's two types of mutual fund, two types of uh, insurance companies. There's mutual and standard. Standard is the stock is the stockholders own the company and the profits go to the stockholders. Mutual is the uh, State Farm, mm -hmm. Knights of Columbus, M Northwestern Mutual. Yeah. Anything says mutual, mutual it says mutual of Omaha. Mutual is the policyholders own the company. Now, and then they pay you dividends. Mm -hmm. Now, let me let's walk this through, okay? If a company makes a profit, it charged the customer more than the cost of the item. Mm -hmm. And so if if you're the owner of the company and the customer of the company and they give you some of the profit back, mm -hmm. It's because they charged you too much to start with. So you just—it's like a tax return. It's not a co-op. <laughs> and so the 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 Treasury Department has ruled that life insurance uh, dividends are not true dividends. It's not real. It was not, your money to begin with. Because it's just a circular thing. You gave them too much, and they gave mm -hmm. you some of it back. Tax return. And so, yeah, it's like a tax return in that regard. I see what you're saying. But the the, the Treasury Department has ruled it's not an income. It's not taxable. Life insurance dividends are not our state farm. If you got a car and they send you a dividend, it's not taxable. It's because it's it's yes, the I it's see. the return of a deliberate overcharge is what the Treasury Department mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. which is exactly what it is. Yeah. So in in her case, what they did was they took that money instead of giving it back to her and bought more life insurance for her. Yes, and that's called paid up additions, and that's why she had a forty seven thousand dollar death benefit instead of a fifteen thousand dollar death benefit. I kind of feel like that should be illegal. It's shady. I the feel like that's very shady. The whole stinking thing is shady. Whole life life insurance is the worst. Mutual whole life life insurance is the worst of the worst. And guess what? It's the payday lender of the middle class. Clearly. You know, you think payday lenders screwing the poor people? They are. Whole life life insurance, payday lender of the middle class. Right there. That's why their buildings are so tall. Thanks for tuning in to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. To learn more about how to plan for retirement, visit RamseySolutions.com slash retire or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash smartvester.